back, everybody. Great to see all of you again today. Before we get started, just a few things. Number one, uh, if you have not already done it, you should have done Spencer's conditioning warm out, war, uh, sorry, Spencer's conditioning workout from Tuesday. Uh, that's posted up online on our YouTube channel. When you're there, don't forget to subscribe so that you can get any updates on our newest videos. And we post all of these videos up to our YouTube channel. Usually the day of, uh, sometimes Mommy. takes a little bit longer. Mommy. All right, next thing we got, uh, we are taking requests for future classes. Anything that you guys would like to work on as far as stick handling, shooting, exercises that you'd like to see, you can either put those in the chat here on Zoom and we'll take a look at those later and try to incorporate some of those, or you can enter those in the comment section on YouTube. So we'll keep an eye on those things. If there's any good uh, or interesting suggestions or requests, we will try to work those in for next week's classes. On Mondays, we do strength. On Tuesdays, we do conditioning. Wednesdays is yoga. And then Thursdays and Fridays, we do a combination of different stick handling exercises that you can continue to work on through the weekend. Okay, uh, last thing. For today's class, you will need the following items. You need your stick and gloves. You will need at least four pucks. You will need a stick handling ball or a golf ball. And you can use also one of these. We talked about this last week. You can use one of these, a uh, empty toilet paper roll. You might have one sitting around your stick handling area. You use that on your bottom hand of your stick to help with hand sliding technique. One thing we focus a lot on is top hand strength. That's twisting the top hand as you stick handle and then keeping the bottom hand a little looser and learning how to slide it up and down the stick for better control when we get back on the ice. So recommendation, if you wanna throw one of these into your workout today, I highly recommend it. Uh, if you don't have one, that's fine. But when you do practice your stick handling over the weekend or over the coming weeks, try throwing one of these on your bottom hand. It can make a big difference um, with your training, okay? Lastly, the most important thing you're going to need today is the same great attitude that you guys have been bringing for the last four weeks, okay? I'm very proud of everybody for how hard you've all been working and how consistent everybody's been. It's so great to see everybody, and it's so great to see everybody working hard. Remember why you signed in today, okay? Community is so important, and everybody who's part of our club knows that. Um, I'm here to push you but you guys are also here to push each other, okay? Your effort really matters, not just for yourself, but for those around you, the people who you have the power to inspire. Every time that you work hard, you can push somebody else around you to work just as hard or even harder, and then that will come back in turn to you, okay? We're a community of people who believe in each other and also want to make each other work harder and harder because this is something we're all very passionate about. So uh, without any further ado, we're going to get started here. Today's lesson is a wrist burner, okay? By the end of this lesson, your wrists should be burning. If they're not, you need to spend more time stick handling today, okay? 20 plus minutes of total stick handling, all right? Let's get started here, okay? Stick and gloves. We have 10 different drills lined up for you. We're gonna do a quick demonstration of each drill, and then that's gonna be followed by two minutes of practice time for each drill, okay? Again, quick demonstration, and then you're gonna work hard for two minutes in a row. We'll try to get different people up on the spotlight as we do the two minutes, just so I can make some corrections or, or encourage you guys to maybe push it a little bit harder. Okay, the first one we're going to do, we need our golf ball or stick handling ball here, no pucks. Okay, the first one we're going to do is called triple threat to reach. So we did this one yesterday for those of you who were signed in yesterday, but I did see that I thought a few people needed a little extra work on it. So let's make sure we have our hands out from our body. We got our elbows length grip here, so just the forearm in between the two hands to start. And we're going to be stick handling the ball front to back on our shooting side. So lefties, that's the left side of your body. Righties, that's the right side of your body. And every few stick handles, right, little fast soft touches, every few stick handles, you're gonna snap the puck forward 
sliding your hands all the way together into a full reach position. So you're working on that bottom hand slide, okay? And then, after a few more, you'll slide it back behind you here. Again, sliding your hands together and trying to keep your hands off your body as you do, okay? Hands out, slide together up front, to the back, stick handle on that shooting side, triple threat side, and pull back. I'm sure you all know why we call it the triple threat, right? Because this is the side of the body where you can shoot, pass, or stick handle pretty easily. So we like to keep the puck over here and be very good at controlling it, twisting the top hand over so that the blade is coming over the ball, and then we'll snap it forward, sliding the hands together, pull back, stick handle here, snap it back behind you, okay? We're gonna go two minutes in a row of this. Get yourselves ready. We're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one. Good job, Daphne. Keep it going here. Keep the feet stationary if you can. If you can, try to work on your peripheral vision here too. That would be if you're a lefty, try to look at the ball only out of the corner of your left eye and keep your eyes focused on something ahead of you. Good, remember to slide your hands together when you push forward. Bring them back to that forearm length grip when you're stick handling in triple threat. And then when you reach behind, you wanna slide those hands back together. Good. Good, try to keep it going for the full two minutes here, all right? Keeping your hands out from your body, even if that hurts your wrists a little bit and you feel like you're getting a workout, that's a good thing, that's what we want. You got 30 seconds left here, keep stick handling. Remember again, most of the twisting should be happening with your top hand. Your bottom hand should be somewhat loose. Okay, and keep that ball yet all the way on your shooting side, right? On your forehand shooting side. The triple threat position should be you stick, you got 10 seconds left. The triple threat position should have you stick handling right next to that foot, okay? And then reaching forward or reaching back. Three, two, one, and rest. Shake those wrists out and let's get ready for drill number two, okay? Here we go. Drill number two is front handle to shooting position. So we did a drill yesterday that had multiple parts to it and I saw some of us struggling. So what I wanted to do today was break that drill down into a few different parts and then bring it back to you. So we just did one of them with the triple threat to reach and now we're gonna do the front handle to shooting position. So on this one, you're gonna have your hands out from your body again. You're gonna be stick handling across the front of your body, east to west, all right? Just like you're coming down the ice and you're ready to face somebody out. Your hips are gonna be moving side to side, your head's up, your shoulders are kind of faking a little bit side to side, right? Stick handling here, and then you're gonna very quickly from here, try to move the ball into a shooting position on your forehand side, okay? And then you're gonna move back to the middle here, stick handle again, eyes up, almost like you're throwing a fake, and then snap it into shooting position, just like that. And we wanna work on sliding that ball into that shooting position as quickly as possible, over-exaggerate. If you lose your ball or you lose your puck, that's not a bad thing. That's you pushing yourself to get a little bit better at loading up for a quick release. So we're here in the middle, stick that hand across, east to west, and then snap into that ready to shoot position. You're not gonna actually shoot, but I do recommend working on this out in the driveway and then following up with a shot anytime you want, okay? We're gonna get going here, five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Up the middle, eyes up, little face, and snap to your shooting position. Okay, front handle, shooting position.
right, let's see it. Very good, Wallen. All right, let's see how Torts is doing. Yep, cross the body in the middle and then snap to the shooting position. If you want to pop that other leg up, like you're doing a little fake wrist shot or snap shot, if you're a righty, that's going to be your left foot popping up in the air. If you're a lefty, it's going to be your right foot popping up in the air. Good job. Very good. We're just over a minute here, so keep going. No stopping, all right? Even if your hands are getting tired, part of this is a little bit of strength and conditioning for your wrists, right? You want to be a good stick handler. You got to have strong wrists. Wallen looking very good, too. You got 30 seconds left, guys. Let's see it. Yeah, we got Timo up here. Timo wearing his Red Wing shirt. Looking good, buddy. Keep it going. There's no smiling in hockey, Timo. You know that. We taught you that many years ago. All right. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Very good, guys. Drill number three. Okay. Drill number three. We're going to go fake shot and drag. So on this one, again, you're going to be stick handling in that triple threat position, almost maybe a little further back behind your body, like you're ready to shoot from back here. Like you could shoot at any second when it's cupped on your forehand. And after you stick handle a couple, you're going to push forward with a big shot and then pull across, reaching to your backhand side. And then we'll pull it back and then here. So you're kind of moving in like an L pattern up in front of your body, and then across, back across, and then back north-south on the side of your body. So again, stick handling here, triple threat, eyes up, right, peripheral vision, only using the corner of your left eye here to look at the ball, and then we're going to snap it forward, pull it across quickly, and then back to that ready to shoot position here, fake, across, back, here, okay? Really try to sell the fake. If you go back to one of our previous lessons, where we talked about the three keys to any good deke, right? Number one is deception. You have to really make it look like you're gonna shoot here, okay? So that means you're gonna have to drop your shoulder a little bit, you gotta keep your eyes open forward, and you really do have to move the ball forward with a lot of speed, okay? And then pull across to protect, all right? Those are the first two steps we talked about in that lesson, was deception, and protection, all right? So let's see it now. We're gonna go in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay. Shooting position, big shot, and drag across. And you can even try a little backhand toe drag on that drag. Okay, cross your body. Stop practicing here for the full two minutes. Now, even if your shoulders or your wrists start to get tired, that's what we want, all right? Very good. All right. Nobody's stopping here. Keep going. Good, no breaks, no excuses. Keep working all the way through the two minutes. All right, Tyler Brock, you're up. Let's see it, buddy. Yep, there you go. Try to sell the fake as best you can. Get your hips down a little bit more. Shoulders back, really try to pump forward with that fake shot. 
Yes, and even if you lose the ball like that with the fake shot forward, that's not a bad thing. That means you're pushing yourself to really push the ball forward like you're faking a shot. Yep, and then across. And when you pull across, try to get that full reach across your body. Right. You got 10 seconds left here. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Drill number four. Drill number four is a combo of the last two. So this is going to be a front handle to shooting position. And then from that shooting position, we're going to go forward with the fake shot and then across with the drag and then back to the middle again. Okay, so you're here in the middle, okay, cross your body, and you're moving those shoulders a little bit back and forth, ready to throw a fake. You're going to move quickly into your shooting position, fake shot, and then across. Okay, so here, middle, and cross your body, east to west, shoot, cross. The shooting position, fake shot, and then over to protect. Okay, middle. Handle, shooting position, big shot, drag across. All right, this is what we did yesterday, but I saw a few people uh, struggling with it, so we decided to break it down into a few pieces. So let's see if it looks a little bit better today. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Dorado, very good. Keep it up. Fast hands. All right. Sharma, keep going. Let's go, bud. You're up on the spotlight here. See what you got. Very good. Big shot. Pull across. Good hands. Start in the middle, east to west. Yep, pull back quick, big shot across. Well done, man, keep going. Griffin, you're up next. You better be working hard right now. Let's see it. There you go, bud. Very good. So you wanna go, yep, pull back, start in the middle, east to west. Pull quickly to shooting position, big shot, and across. Good job, man. All right. Got 35 seconds here, guys. Keep going. Matt, sorry. It kicked me out of the meeting for some reason. Luke Grizz, you're up here. Let's see it, Lukey. 15 seconds. Go hard, pull up, and across. Nice job. Luke's doing a good job of kind of slowing down different portions of it and then speeding it back up. If you're struggling with one spot on this, take a rest right now, guys. We're done. If you're struggling with any portion of these uh, stick handling exercises, you can slow down. You don't have to go full speed on everything right now. Once you do get the hang of it, especially if you're one of the older players or if any of these seem like something you've done before or you feel you're very confident with it, go fast. But if you need to go a little slower, that's fine too. All right. All right. Next one. We're going to need a puck for this one. And we're going to take that puck and we're going to put it for some of my size, like a phantom, bigger player. You're going to go about four feet in front of your shooting side foot. So if you're a lefty, that puck's going to be about four feet in front of your left foot. If you're a righty, that puck's going to be about four feet in front of your right foot. If you are a peewee or under, you're thinking more like three feet out in front. You don't need to be too far on the reach here. You want to be reaching out a little bit. You want your hands to be off your body on this one, um, but not too much. Okay. So what we're going to be doing here is we are going to be making a forehand circle. These are called forehand wrist rolls. What we're going to be doing is working on rolling our top wrist to bring the ball around this puck here. Make sure we can see that puck. Bring it a little closer, a little further in. 
All right. Okay. So what we want to do is work on rolling that wrist on the top hand for two minutes in a row here, bringing this ball around the puck in a circle. So if you're lefty, you're going to be going in a clockwise pattern here. And you want to try to come around the puck as much as you can on your forehand, pull it back in, and then complete the circle. Okay, so really twisting this wrist underneath your other hand and then pulling it back into the body. And you're going to be doing a full two minutes of that. If you go for the full two minutes, you'll really start to feel your wrist burning. And that's what we want. Remember, if you're a righty, you're going to have that puck in front of your right foot over here, about three feet, four feet in front. And you're going to be going counterclockwise around your puck. Okay? We'll get started here. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, so Edward, yeah, we want to, what we want to do, instead of doing the backhand toe drag there, we actually want to, you're going the correct direction, but really twist your top hand over it so you're pulling it back on the forehand there. Yeah, very good. Yeah, all the way around it. Pull it in quick on your forehand like that. Yep. Yeah, over-exaggerate on the forehand side. You'll notice a little bit harder to do, actually, than that backhand toe drag. Yeah, and you're getting a little more wrist action putting that top hand underneath, right? That left hand. See how if anybody's looking at the screen right now, you'll see how Edward's hand is really moving all the way under his other arm. That's really good, Edward. Nice shot. All right. Dorado, you look like you're doing a good job there. Good. Keep it going. Thomas the goalie, well done. Good. Keep it going. Another 20 seconds here. Go Pilata. Very good. Keep it up. 10 more seconds here. All right. Three, two, one, and stop. Okay. Pretty simple transition. We're going to go right into the next one here. It's the same thing. We're just going backhand now. So you're going to go the opposite way around. Right? So if you were going clockwise, now you're going counterclockwise, lefties. And you're going to be standing in the same spot with your left foot in line with that puck. And you're going to be coming around, reaching your hands out and controlling on the backhand and then pulling in a little closer. So there should be a little bit of hand sliding here with the bottom hand, reaching out with the top hand and pulling the ball back in. Okay? You're just going to get that opposite rotation, the opposite roll of the wrist on your top hand. Right, remember, you want to keep that foot in line with the puck so that we're reaching around the right spot and getting the right roll of the wrist. Okay? Right, That's an easy one. Let's get started in five, four, three, two, one. You keep that puck, the ball in the corner of your eye. Keep practicing your vision a little bit. All right, Pilato, let's see it, buddy. Very good. Good. As we move into the second minute here, if you got the hang of this one, let's really try to keep our head up the whole time. Work on your vision a little bit. Just keep that ball in the very corner of your eye, just blurry so you can barely see it a little bit. And then keeping most of your vision focused forward on something else. Keep going, Wallen. No breaks. No excuses. Good. 
job, guys. Keep it up. We got 35 seconds here. Keep going. Sammy, you're up next. Sammy, no Sarah. Let's see it all the way around. Good. Nick, you're up 15 seconds. Let's see it, Nick. All right. Good. All right, very good. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, let's get back up here. This one, we're gonna need two pucks, and those two pucks are gonna go in line, again, in front of your shooting side. So if you're lefty, that's the left side. They should be about two, two and a half feet apart. And on this one, we're gonna be working on those wrist rolls again, but in a figure eight pattern, so you're kind of doing both of them. Right? You kind of come through, around, back in close to your feet, and then back out farther. Right? If you're someone who's a little taller, you can spread those pucks out a little bit more, so you're getting more of a reach around that front puck, and then more of a drag here and pulling in tight to your feet with your hands apart as you come around closer. Okay? So again, this is a good one to work on both wrist rolls and hand slides with your bottom hand. So if you have one of those toilet paper rolls, this is a good one actually to throw that roll on the stick put it in your bottom hand, and then practice sliding that bottom hand up and down the stick. As I come out around the farther puck, my hands are going to slide close together. As I come back in close to my feet, my hands are going to slide back apart. Okay. The more of this you can do without looking straight down at the ball, even better. Okay. All right. Let's get started here. Five, four, three, two, one. Sal. Let's see it, Sal. Keep working. There you go. Nice. Work on sliding that bottom hand. Loosen up the grip of the bottom hand so that as you go around the puck that's farther away, you're sliding your hands close together. Okay. It helps to try to really plant your feet on the ground and keep them stationary, right? You don't want to be stepping too much front to back. Good. You want to be stretching and reaching away from your body. There you go. That's a better hand slide. And then sliding your hands really far apart. Try to exaggerate with your stick handle in here. See if you can get some on your Really slide and Good. Let's go back. Let's go back to Pilata here. Pilata, show them how to do the hand slide here. Good, All right? Try to get, Jack, try to stand a little closer to the bottom puck, the lower puck. And then, yeah, as it comes in close to your feet, you want to slide your hand, exaggerate sliding your hands really far apart. And then when you go around the puck that's farther away, your hands should be almost touching. Yeah. All right, and cut, take a break. All right. Okay, similar one. Right, that was a north-south figure eight. Now what we're gonna do is a figure eight where we have these pucks now out in front of our body, side to side. So just a little further out than your normal stance here. So maybe like a foot to the right of your right foot, a foot to the left of your left foot here, okay? And then probably about three and a half, three, three to four feet out in front of your body, okay? You know, the bigger you are, the farther you can practice your reach, okay? So again, what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna push the ball up around the outside. We're gonna pull it back through the middle 
and then across. Okay. Again, we can work on our reach here. We want to be rolling the wrist as we come around the outside each time. And on the forehand side, really try to over exaggerate pulling that forehand cup all the way around the ball. Okay. We got five seconds here. Four, three, two, one, and go. Make sure you're coming up around the outside of the puck and then back through the middle of the tail. You want to expand your reach a little bit. It's a good challenge. If you are going to do that, though, make sure you're keeping your feet planted and you're reaching by sliding your hands together. All right, keep going, guys. You got another minute here. All right, Alex, you're up. Let's see it. Very good. Yeah, keep going. Don't stop. Time to shine, man. There you go. Very good. Try to over-exaggerate when you come around that forehand side, right, your right side. Really try to keep that on your forehand for like an extra second, almost as you come around that one. Yep. Good job. Keep it up. Let's check in on Edward here. Let's see how Edward's doing. Edward, you got 25 seconds. Let's see it. Very good. Reach and reach. Nice. Over-exaggerate on that forehand side. Very smooth. Those green biscuits are great on the pavement. 13 seconds left here. Palmer, let's see what you're up to. Very good, Palmer. Keep going. Three, two, one and rest. Very good. All right, that gets us through eight drills already. All right, number nine, we're gonna need all four pucks for this one. And we're gonna make a trapezoid on our shooting side. Hope we all still remember what trapezoids are. Okay, we're gonna have the two pucks that are farther apart from each other, they're gonna be farther away from our body. And the two pucks that are a little closer together, they're going to be the ones that are closer to our body. We're going to stand kind of in line with the back puck here of the top part of the trapezoid. So, okay, I hope that makes sense to everybody. What we're going to do is we're going to be stick handling through the bottom part of the trapezoid here, forehand. We're going to pull back hand through the middle. We're going to push forward, front back, front back. And then we're going to come back hand again through this top part of the trapezoid. And then we're going to pull forehand back hand through. We call this a curl and drag stick hand and drill. All right. So again, we want the skinnier, smaller part of the trapezoid closer to our body. The other two pucks that are longer side of the trapezoid, they're going to be farther away from the body. We're going to pull through the bottom end of the trapezoid by pushing our hands out, almost like we're faking a pass diagonally away from us here. Then we're going to have those hands out, pull back through on the back hand, close into our feet. You can slide the hands a little bit. And then we're going to stick handle front to back a few. Front for like almost a big pass again. Pull back hand through, and then forehand back hands here. Forehand here, backhand here, a little bit of a fake pass, backhand to forehand. Okay, we want to try to go really fast on this one. Try to keep your hands moving. Let's see a lot of speed, quick stick handling, moving that top wrist. We're already in the ninth exercise, so your hands should be starting to burn by now. Really try to push hard for two minutes through this. We're going to look for fast hands on the spotlight here, so make sure you're moving quick. All right, five seconds, four, three, 
two, one. Torts, fast hands, torts, let's go. So actually, Joe, your body should be like facing sideways. You should be like facing to your left there, to your left, turn your body sideways. Yep, this drill should be happening on your shooting side. Yep, keeping your toes pointed that, yep, there you go. Very good, perfect. Let's see. Griffin, how you doing? Griffin, you got a good setup there. Very good. Nice. Very good. Let's see how Chris is doing. Perfect. Very good, Chris. You guys got 25 seconds left here. Let's go, Jackson. Zeke, what are you taking a break? We got we got eight seconds left here. No excuses. All right, and stop. Good job. You gotta be careful. You're taking a break. I might catch you on the spotlight. All right, we're on to drill number 10 here. We're gonna make a big box with our pucks. Nice big box out in front of us. Using all four pucks. We're gonna stand about a foot short of the bottom part of our box here, okay? And as we go around these pucks that are a little farther out, we're gonna be, again, working on our reach. We're gonna pull through. We're gonna be pulling in, exaggerating. Look how far apart my hands are as I come into the pucks that are closer to me. And then I'm gonna come back out around the outside of the box, sliding my hands together. So again, another good one to throw that Toilet paper roll on your shaft and put it in your bottom hand to practice your hand sliding. Okay, we're gonna come up the outside, north to south, sorry, south to north, pull back through, sliding our hands apart, together, apart, together. Lots of hand slides here. Okay, twist with your top wrist, slide with the bottom, okay? Not a lot of little quick touches on this one. This one's a little bit more of a long pull, okay? Try to limit the amount of touches, actually. Okay. okay. So, we're all set up here. We got five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and go. Around the outside, diagonally through the middle. Reach up around the outside. Pull back diagonally through the middle again. See? Good job, Palmer. Keep it going here. Let's get these brothers up here. We got, there we go, Sovens. Nice job. Very good, boys. Keep it up. Let's check in on Timo. Make sure Timo's still working hard back there. Good job. Timo, I would recommend for you, since you're a little bit older, I would recommend even making that box even a little bit bigger. Right? Yeah, a little bit bigger. Just practice the reach when you're coming far away and then sliding your hands really far apart as you come in close to your feet. Check in on these guys. Here we go. We got a Politi here. Let's go, Politi. Keep working, buddy. I know, our hands are... Our wrists are probably starting to get so tired right now. Keep going, you got 40 seconds left. No stopping. 
Luca, keep it up. Let's go, buddy. Let's see, reach hands together, slide the hands apart as you come in closer. Let's go. Grizz, you better be working hard here with those purple sneakers. Keep going, 20 seconds left. Good. Reach. Good. Let's check out Dobbins Garage, see how he's doing. Let's go, Dobbins. You got eight seconds, Dobbins. Why are you not stick handling? Let's go, five, four, three, two, one. All right, now we're done with our 10 exercises, but since I caught Dobbins not working hard, we're gonna add a bonus one in right now. The bonus one to make sure our wrists are all burning is we're gonna go top hand strength, okay? Stick handling only with our top hand here for another two minutes. And I wanna see everybody stick handling back and forth, fast, quick touches using only your top hand. Right? And don't cheat, don't choke up the stick at all, okay? Hold it all the way at the top of the stick, and you're gonna stick handle back and forth for a full two minutes here. Nobody stops, nobody makes excuses, nobody whines about how much their wrist hurts. Remember, your wrist burning right now is making you stronger, so don't quit, okay? Full two minutes here. Five, four, three, two, one. Get Dobbins back up on the screen here. It would be. Where's it going, Dobbins? Let's go. All right, we're going to do a little spotlight roulette here. I'm going to click on random people. You better be working. Wallen, good job. You're up. All right, don't fail us here, people. Egan, you're up. Let's go. I better not catch anybody standing still not working. All right, Grizz, you're up. Good. You better not be, oh, you're choking up on that stick, Luke Grizz. You gotta hold that stick all the way at the top. Luca, you're up, don't fail us here. Good, Luca, keep it going. What's that, five in a row? Timo, good job, six in a row. Torts, good job, seven in a row. Keep it going, people. A lot of eight in a row, nice. Griffin, no! Griffin, you better be moving, let's go. Sharma, you're up. Good, Sharma, keep it up. Chris, I'm coming to you. Good job, Chris. Gallons, keep it going. Good, got both gallons, yes, very good. Palmer, you're up, let's go. Good, oh, keep going, good. Edward, you're up. Don't let us down, buddy. Ooh, one hand, good, keep that hand out from your body, keep working. Go. Jack, you're up, buddy. Yes, Jack, good job. Ooh, hand behind the back, perfect. Look, only one hand. You got four seconds left. Three, two, one, and done. Great job, everybody. All right. All right, guys. Nice job today. I hope everybody's wrists are hurting a little bit, right? That's a good sign that you were working hard and you earned something today. Um, listen, you guys are awesome. You've done a great job. It's inspiring to me to be able to come on here uh, almost every day and see all of you guys and see how much you're willing to keep working hard. Um, your hard work means a lot to me, and I'm sure it means a lot to all of your teammates. I want you guys to keep encouraging all of your teammates, check in with all of them, make sure they're doing okay, and get them to come on to our lessons uh, next week, week five. Let's all make sure we keep getting stronger every single day. All right, thank you guys.